Welcome, blessed souls. I am the magical medium and blessed 8 8 portal. Oh my gosh, it's so amazing. I really hope you guys did something special today. Um, I hope by the time you see this, you've put your beautiful manifestations into the universe. It is what some people call the galactic new year. Um, I think there's just an energy that you can't really explain. <sighs> So taking some deep breaths, they're starting to connect with me already, so. Mm. <sighs> I am Tallulah Kelly, welcome, welcome, welcome to the new people, welcome to this channel. Blessed 8-8 portal. I feel like I'm waiting for them to come in. So I call upon your higher selves, my higher self. I call upon our spirit guides, our animal guides the Galactic Council, the Galactic Federation, the gods, the goddesses, the dragons, the demons, the darkness, the light, all of it, because it's part of us. We are balanced. And just like the eight that is turned on its side, we are infinity. Nobody knows where this began or where it will end, and it doesn't matter. Today is a day of happiness and joy, setting those intentions, those manifestations, putting them out into the universe. Today is also smack dab in the middle of the waxing Gibeous energy. In a few days, we will be having the full moon in Aquarius, I believe, yes. So thank you all for being here today. Thank you to the ancestors. We call on the ancestors. We call on the healing energies of the universe. We call upon the Reiki healing energy of the universe and all those who would like to receive this healing energy. It's coming at you. All you have to say is, I accept this loving healing energy with peace and love and joy in my heart. That's all. You could say whatever you want to say. That's what I would say. You could say whatever you want to say. So I'm channeling this beautiful, peaceful healing energy Today, Spirit took my beloved and I up high, high, high to the top of a mountain and then low, 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 low down to the salt water. Beautiful, beautiful energy. So I wanted to share this with you guys. This deep earth energy. I always want to say Dragon's Gate Portal, but I know it's Lion's Gate Portal, but I always want to say Dragon's. Thank you for this healing energy. Thank you for healing us from the inside out and the outside in. Thank you for balancing our chakras. I'm opening my eyes to hear that. Thank you to the Deer Spirit Medicine. Yes, we've seen deer all day today. Thank you to the Eagle Spirit. We call upon the Eagle Spirit and the Deer Spirit to come and sit with us today. And this beautiful, blessed 8-8 portal, as above, so below, we are all connected as we grow in love and light and peace and harmony. <sighs> Taking some deep breaths. As some of you know, we've got a family of deer here. We call upon the north, the south, the east, the west, the directions, earth, air, fire, and water. We call upon Sandophon and the crystalline grid. We call upon Gaia, the four-legged, the winged, the slithered, the two-legged, <laughs> all of the above, all living creatures. Thank you, spirit. We take in this peaceful energy from this beautiful place, this place of indigenous medicine, Ohana, and above today, Happy New Year to all of the galaxies, all the federations, all of us, we are one. It doesn't matter where we come from. We all come from the same place. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you for this. Welcome, everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. You are all welcome. In a loving, healing capacity, you are all welcome. 
Thank you, Spirit. Thank you for this deep healing on this Lionsgate portal. When we had it at its peak this morning, I woke up at exactly 6.42. Thank you, Spirit. Yes, we are glowed up. We are glowed up. Do you feel it? Thank you for balancing our chakras and clearing them of any energies or entities that no longer belong there. We ask that you pull out any entities that no longer belong inside of us, outside of us. <sighs> we release and let go. Stretch. <sighs> release and let go. <sighs> the more you stretch, the better you feel, I promise you. Today we are working with the Enchanted Spell Oracle. Yes, from the magic, from the, the healing realms to the earth realms of healing and everything in between. This deck is perfect for today. Thank you, Spirit. Owl Medicine is with us as well. Thank you. There's an owl that's on this property. It's been talking to me. I can't wait to see it and meet him. I think it might be my friend. Anyway, welcome everybody. You can open your eyes. You may have had your eyes open the whole time. Welcome. You like my Pomeranian? I'm calling it my samurai. I've got my samurai going today. So welcome. So much has been happening today. I've been purging. Old stuff's been coming up. How, how are you guys doing? What's going on with you guys? We're going to pull from this enchanted spell oracle deck. It's the medieval head witches. So, yeah, I apologize you have the back of the RV, but it's just where the sun is. It's just, just where we are. And that's okay because I brought in some nature here. And I've got nature all over my little kimono, my short sleeve kimono. I'm feeling really good. I'm feeling no pain. I've been smoking the ganja, hanging out on this beautiful land. Um so much medicine. I was blessed to work with a really powerful old, old uh, shamanic wizard, a medicine man, yesterday. Bless his heart. 79 young. Unbelievable. Just really a lot of powerful stuff coming through. And um, I'm excited to share a lot of things with you guys. But the one thing I do want to talk about is, you know, the Lionsgate portal. Oh, when I looked down, it was 750. So that's also the number 75 and it's also the number 12 which is also the number three, if any of that means anything to you guys. I'm always channeling uh, as well as um, working as, um, you know, shamanic healer. I hope you felt that healing energy. If you accepted it into, you'll feel it. Um, but yeah, it was nice to get grounded out in nature today after that. You know, we had like a three hour intensive session. It was really powerful. Just a lot is coming through for me on multiple levels and also for Alder. Um, we've been, it's interesting how certain things that were happening in our lives before, it was really hard. It was really tough. It was, you know, we felt like we would take, you know, five steps forward, 10 steps back, this kind of thing, this kind of tango. You know, now we realize that I'm going to, I'm like, but you can tell I'm going downhill. I'm like, but now I can, I'm like, I can sit back. But the interesting thing is that things weren't always going wrong. They were just falling into place. And we needed to be in the dark night of the soul and work with our shadow, both individually and together. We had to go through a lot together. We are still going through a lot together. And this experience is really teaching us like who we are and who we're not, you know, kind of thing. And, um, in a loving, beautiful way, you know, but at the same time, it's like, I can't help but notice the magic. And anytime anything, any obstacle has been in our way since we got here, I'm like, Nope, we're done. That's not going to work. Nope. I'm like, I wanted this and that, blah, blah, blah. I want to, and every single time I do that and I want to bail, I want to run, 
some fucking magic happens. And I mean magic. We're like, Alder and I are like talking about something and I'm like, oh, yeah, no, I don't think this is the right place for us. I don't think blah, blah. And this massive, like beautiful young deer like comes walking past our window like hey what's up <laughs> like looks in like hey and it's been the deer and the eagles have been guiding us this whole time and today was no different even the road that we went up was called deer you know what i mean like it's called deer park road i think or something and there's it's just amazing and you know we've both wanted to live on the north side of the peninsula but every time we would come here, it just didn't feel right. It just didn't, it just wasn't right. It wasn't right. And over the last week, it's like everywhere we go, it's magic. It's just like magic. Things are just falling into our laps like this. I'll show it to you later, like when I, you know, when we get in the cabin and we do a walkthrough. But this is a, this is a settee, a chaise. Beautiful over a hundred years old, easy, maybe even more. And we went, we were looking for Tupperware because I'm like, I need more Tupperware because you know, we're still glamping. We don't have electricity. Um, we don't have, you know, the refrigerator I've like rigged with ice and stuff, but you know, it's a process, you know, we're still glamping. It's a, it's, I'm still pioneer woman ing. <laughs> but anyway, long story short, we go and we're pulled to this yard sale on Saturday. Everything that happened on Saturday was like magic. We went to the farmer's market. We met, in, or well, we'd already seen some people before. We met some new people. It was just really, just magic all the way around. It was amazing. And then um, we decided to drive around and look, because I was like, oh, I need Tupperware. They sell garage sale signs, yard sale signs everywhere. And this place is so fun. It is one of the most fun places I've ever lived. And it's really cool that like literally we were in the mountains like up high and then like we as we were coming down like you can see the strait and you can see the the you know salt water and that might be a deer um, anyway it's just been magic 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 and things have just been falling into place and then we go to this one yard sale and meet these cool people and she has these beautiful curtains that were jute and bamboo I believe or cotton but either way they were like really well made beautiful wooden you know they look like they've never been used and if so they were in a room that was like not used you know much got a really good price on those and um, sorry about that we do live by the freeway that's the only negative but that doesn't happen all the time so it's mostly flowing traffic which is kind of cool but anyway long story short so we got those and we're just like bopping around and getting all this awesome stuff then we come across this farm stand which i'm gonna have to do a shorts on it a zucchini like this big that was a dollar 25 organic i'm like what the food here is amazing it's just like it's it's just a beautiful magical place and uh and so then we were on our way home and we were both drawn to this road and long story short he's like oh look a yard sale and i was like oh cool well, we get there and it's 111, which, you know, we're all about 111, 1111. We got married on November 11th and, and we see this sign that says, you know, more and back and there's like furniture everywhere. And long story short, this was sitting there. There was a pair of these really fucking badass vintage cowboy boots with heel, like a heel, like from the seventies or like the early eighties, really awesome. Um, they were a little fucked up, but I was like, oh, I know I can clean those. There was just like all these like really cool things I'm like walking through and, but it, the house looked like it'd been completely, you know, torn apart, you know, and it was an estate sale. So this is Pat because I asked who owned this house and they're like Pat. And I'm like, well, because we got this and like a bunch of other stuff for, he's like, oh, you know what? Just give me $25. I'm like, excuse me. And wait till you see it. I mean, I don't want to like move everything right now because I have everything just perfect. <laughs> But I mean, it was just like this magic moment. And thank you to Jessica, because Jessica just sent $25. Thank you, Jessica. It was like fucking perfect. I swear, it was just like this moment that like, we were just like, you know, we're not even in the house yet. Where are we going to put it? And it's supposed to rain this week. So I was like, oh, I don't know, you know. And he's like, well, we can throw something over it. And we were under a canopy, you know. So yeah, so long story short, we bought it. And then yesterday, I read for that beautiful shaman who sat here and got to be comfortable in this settee. I like wiped it down. I mean, it's still, it really smells. It smells old and I already wiped it down, but that's why I'm like, I'm sitting on, you might see the white part. I'm like, I'm sitting on 
and I had to put something down because I was like, I don't want it to ruin my clothes. Even now I'm kind of, sorry, I'm going to throw my face at you. I just kind of want to go back, but yeah, so it's just been, um, it's just been like magic. And, you know, I realize, you know, yesterday we finally saw the inside. I, I don't know if I told you guys, but we hadn't seen the inside yet. And it was like, it was scary, 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 where I'm like, nope, I'm out. Nope. I'm like, nope, nope, nope. And, um, and the owner's like, oh no, he's like, don't worry. Like, this is all going to be done. He's like, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. And I was like, okay, okay. So, you know, I'm just like trying to breathe and poor Alder's like trying to hold my hand through it. Cause I'm just like, no, mm, nope, nope, nope. <laughs> I'm like, no. But I will say this when we, there's two, there's a front door and there's a side door and we didn't go through the front door, which I don't know why we didn't, but I'm so glad we didn't because, um, it has this really cool Hobbit door on the cabin and it's like, you know, like that. And, um, but not as fat as the Hobbit door, but like that kind of, you know, very elvish fairy, like, you know, witchy cottage. But I don't think we would have had the same effect because we kept looking through the front windows and I couldn't really see through the side that much cause I'm too short. So when he opened it and we walked in and I saw the view through the windows and saw the Hobbit door from the inside, I was like, oh, I'm like, oh my God, it's my little witchy cabin. I'm like, this is it. Oh my God, I love it. And then it was like, the more we saw, the less I loved it, you know? And then I like opened the refrigerator and I was like, oh dear God, never know. I'm like, no. I was like, no. I'm like, what happened in there? I'm like, what is going on? So they, it's on solar and, um, and propane. And it doesn't have electric yet, but we're talking about what we're going to do with that. I think I just want to do more solar panels, but we're talking about it, you know, um, cause it's a work trade. We don't own it. Uh, but at the same time, he's been really cool about like, you know, our input or like what we, you know, he's like, I, I'll ask him things. He's like, do whatever the fuck you want with it. <laughs> I'm like, well, I'm just trying to make sure I don't like overstep or whatever. And he's like, do you see the condition it's in? <laughs> he's just like, don't worry about it. He's like, they're going to make it better. I'm not worried about it. And I was like, okay. So, um, yeah, so it's just, it's definitely been a process. And every time I've wanted to bail, something really magical has happened. And I feel like spirit is saying that's exactly what we're in right now. The waxing gibbous energy, which even on here, I think it says rest or not rest in a store. What is it? Hold on. Refine and focus. So the waxing gibbous energy is refine and focus. It's also about having patience, having setbacks, you know, things, shit happens, you know, you can't control everything, that kind of thing. Um, so, uh, just hang in there. If you're, if your manifestation hasn't come in fully yet, that's okay. You know, this eight, eight portal is all about that. You know, it, even though we're, we had the pinnacle of it a few hours ago, sorry, little fucking vampire fairy just got me. I may have to move inside. It's just, it was really hot today. Uh, that's why we went into the mountains because it was really hot today and the kind of hot that like big campers like a hundred inside. Oh, I called him big camper. He's actually big Mac daddy. <laughs> We're calling him big Mac daddy because the initials are BMD. And when we went to look at it, I go, that's so interesting. And he goes, why? And I go, well, my dad's name is Bill and my stepdad's nickname is Mac and D is dad. I'm like, like Bill Mac daddies. And I go, or oh, Big Mac Daddies. I'm like, oh my God. So like, there's been shit like that where like, I feel like they're like, don't give up, don't give up. And I feel like there was a reason why I haven't seen the cabin fully inside yet. But I will say this, you guys. Oh my gosh. I think once everything's out of there and it's like really cleaned, like a deep, deep, deep clean. Um, I think it's going to be really magical. But there's a lot of things that have to be fixed and tweaked and, you know, and that's why he's being, you know, kind of cool with us about it. And, you know, um, you know, the, it's just, it's preposterous the way that people are charging to get into places right now. It's insane. I mean, we looked at a place um, that was even smaller than this, more expensive than this. And um, yeah, it was perfect. You know, it was beautiful and it was on a beautiful property and everything. But at the same time, you know, we'd have to have $3,900 to move in. And I'm like, that's fucking crazy. If I had $3,900, I'd be putting it down a fucking house. I ain't going to give it to somebody to rent, you know, first last deposit, pet rent, fucking pet fee cleaning. I mean, I get it. I understand. I know the lockdown, you know, a lot of people abused their 
abused that extension. And so I get it. People are trying to get their money back. It's a recession that nobody wants to talk about. You know, I feel all that, but at the same time, it's just like, fuck. That's why a lot of people are home free because it's just too fucking hard to, to do that, you know? So anywho, I feel like this is a blessing. And I also feel like, you know, a lot of people buy their first house and it's not perfect or pretty. Right. And they, and they're just like, you know, this is, the, you know, look at it though. It's got good bones. Like it, with over time, we can turn this into something special. And that's kind of how I feel about this, you know, whether we rent it, whether we buy it, whatever happens, whatever is meant to be will be, um, you know, maybe we're just here to help him, you know, get his people, you know, into motion to, you know, take better care of it and things like that. So, um, you know, everything happens for a reason. And I truly firmly believe that. And if I say that, then I have to live it and I can't be in the, you know, well, cause then I'm like, what's, what's the real, what's the real, we have to be real with ourselves and each other, you know, but also at the same time, we have to work through those feelings and say, why doesn't this feel right? Does this not feel right? Because it's not for me. Or does this not feel right? Because, um, I'm afraid of success. I'm afraid of taking on something like that. I mean, I, Alder and I finally had this like really cool talk where I said, um, what's freaking you out? Cause like, well, I feel like there's something freaking you out. And he's like, I've just never paid that much for rent before. And I was like, Oh, I have. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm like, I'm a city girl. I'm like, that's this in the city would be like four times that. And you know, like overlooking the water. I'm just saying like, if it was like high up in a penthouse and you know, that kind of thing, it's, it's a pretty special place. The property is really cool. There's a lot of magic happening on this property. And also the owner and I, like, I like tell him like these visions I have and he'll like start laughing. And I'm like, what? And he's like, I swear to God, that's exactly what I wanted to put there. I'm like, Oh, it'd be so perfect there. You know? <laughs> so it's, you know, yeah, I hope it is because I want you guys to come and visit. You know, we want it to be this spiritual place where people can come and, you know, regain their composure so to speak or you know get away from the city or work with me or work with Alder or work with both of us or just come and stay um you know we've been talking about turning part of the house into um an airbnb for like a spiritual you know where people want to come then they have their own little private space you know we were talking about that yesterday so there's just a lot of really cool things that um one way or the other i feel like we're meant to be here and help through this situation but there are a few things that i've kind of laid down the groundwork and i'm like or ground rules where i'm like if these things aren't done or taken care of i'm not going to live here i mean you know not in a shitty way but just like you know i've lived through that and i don't want to do that i don't want to live like that again not when i know that you know we can pay the same amount of rent and have, you know, working utilities and things like that. Cause that stuff's important, you know, and especially for us that we haven't had it for a long time. And, you know, um, you have to, you have to be in a place that makes you feel comfortable and safe and good. And, um, there's definitely an energy here that keeps trying to push us out. When we walked into the house yesterday, I felt like something was trying to choke me. Something that like went like was like stopping me like stop 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 but I was keeping moving forward almost like they had no power and like their feet were dragging on the ground and I was like still walking through and I'm like you don't fucking scare me I'm like I'm not afraid of you and then I just I looked over and I seen Alder and when he gets this certain look on his face that means that he knows something's off too and I and I go do you feel that and he goes oh yeah I'm like oh and then the owner's like what do you mean and I'm like oh what whatever is here does not want us here does not want us to clean this up does not want us to I'm like it it likes being here you know, and so, uh, I don't know what it is or where it comes from. If it was created, if it's an old energy, it feels really old. Um, so I'm not really sure like this, like I'm sitting on this. And even though I blessed it yesterday, I didn't re -bless it again after that powerful shaman sat here yesterday and then Alder sat here. So it's like, I can feel their energy. I did say though, whoever sits on this will feel healed. will feel good. Yeah, so I'm I'm shuffling until one comes out. <laughs> They're just having me tell you what's going on with us. I know some of you are curious what's going on, and it's been it's been an interesting experience. I mean, I definitely feel a book coming from this, and um, I'm feeling like I want to write again. Like, and you know, a lot of you know I've been writing a novel for several years now. 
So innocence. Oh my gosh, you guys, I think we pulled this. I think we pulled this the last time we had this deck as well. So it says pear, apple, poppy, daisy, rose, violet, and mint. Interesting. And it's like the divine feminine energy. Let me see if I can get in here for you guys. Can you see that? Look at the sun shining on it. Cool. Hold on. Can you guys see it? It's beautiful, isn't it? So innocence. Ooh. Innocence lost. I feel like for some of for some of you guys, I don't know if this will work if I do it this way. It's not really gonna do it, I don't think. Oh, you know what? I could do what I did last time and I can just hold it here. Um, the innocence I literally heard from spirit, like for some of you, you feel like your innocence was lost. And on this Lionsgate portal. I wish I could make it go. No, I can't. Sorry, guys. What did you say, Spirit? And this Lionsgate energy, and this portal energy, because no matter when you watch this, you're still going to download the energy because it's happening in real time. But I'm hearing for some of you guys, there's this innocence lost like soul retrieval, inner child trauma that needs to be addressed in order for you to move forward. I'm feeling fidgety, like some of you used to fidget with your hands, some of you used to fidget with your feet. Maybe you still fidget. Maybe you're having too much caffeine, too much uh, chocolate, you know, or something, sugar, that's getting your body, you know, mm, mm, mm. I've been going through that too. I've been going through this kind of uh, thing ever since I got hurt. It's been really um, intense, and I've had to go through a lot of different things, so I feel you guys. I understand. Drink some water. Mm. I'm going to read from the book. Let me get my glasses. By the way, I'm going to do a, a pick a reading. I don't know if I'm going to do it. Probably not today because I'm really tired. We did so much. Like we did adventures. Now he's taking a nap. And I'm doing this and then I'm going to um, make dinner. So um, probably tomorrow in real time, Tuesday or Wednesday, the 9th or the 10th. So look out for that because I know Spirit's been calling for me to do another one. Okay, so innocence, my friends, innocence. Ooh, integrity. I was, I was drawn to the integrity card. Okay, sweet, gentle, worthy, the daisy, the very soul of innocence, the humble yet beautiful daisy symbolizes summer meadows and happy-go-lucky days. Oh, featured regularly in medieval artworks, daisies were thought to represent purity and grace. The presence of daisies in the home can bring a happy, playful energy, one that can lift a heavy spirit and bring a feeling of lightheartedness. Oh, so bring some daisies in if you can afford to do that. Maybe they grow wild somewhere near you or maybe even in your own yard. Go and speak to them and say, may I please take you, you know, into my house, you know. You'll feel their energy if they're like, no, you know. Um, I try to pick in between, you know, when I do that. So it still looks like there's some, by the way, there's some, some fairies present. Uh, the fairies are, are getting jiggy with it out here. <laughs> they just wanted to say hello. The fairies are saying hello, hello, hello. And I love how they're dancing, the lights dancing on me. Mm. Also, because Leo's the sun, you know. So there's like that powerful, the fire, the sun, you know, to, to, to remind us that we're powerful, that we have a purpose, that everything that we are and everything we do is, is, is meaningful. You know, even the things that you think are mundane, they're meaningful. So get some daisies in your house. I was just thinking that too, like, you know, because last night after I calmed down, I go, I think I just need to hose it down with some essential oils. And I mean, I'm not kidding you, you guys, one of the rooms had so many cobwebs. I was like, <laughs> like, I seriously was like, like, you know, I love spiders as much as the next person, but there was like this one web that there were so many babies in it. I'm like, oh, I 
Because I'm like, I can't do that. Like, I cannot kill spiders. I just cannot do it. And I'm like, this isn't my, you know, so I was just kind of talking to the spiders. And I was like, you guys got to get out of here. Because, you know, I'm like, it's just too much. And the one room is really cool because they built it on. So it's like an old um, cedar shank, you know. So the whole wall is like the outside, the original outside. So it's, it's got a lot of charm. It's really cool. But it is like an old witch's fucking cabin. And yeah, it's going to take a lot of fucking essential oils. I'm like, are you kidding me? I'm like, I'm going to have to hold this place down. Like, I mean, seriously, like it's, yeah. But it is really cute and it has a lot of potential and it has a lot of the things that we want and the things that they, that it doesn't have. He said that I was more than welcome to change and alter, which was really cool. And some of those things I would like to probably do myself anyway, you know, so it's exciting. It's exciting. There's a lot of, a lot of cool things that are coming. So bring some daisies into your house. And, and I, I saw a spirit was showing me like daisies all over the cabin, like once it's clean and stuff to bring that energy in. So thank you, spirit. The symbolism of the card. The priestess of innocence is enjoying being surrounded by nature in a wooded glen. She is dressed in soft pink. Here, here we go. As she meditates, I want you to see her instead of me. Here we go. Bring the focus there, spirit. As she meditates, an herb wheel containing daisies, violets, apples, poppies, roses, and mint circle her. Above the priestess sits the crescent moon, surrounded by stars in the night sky. Her mind is pure and light, and she embodies the essence of innocence and goodness. The divination is, when the innocence card appears, it sends a gentle reminder that feelings of guilt are seldom helpful. As humans, we are but flawed vessels, and we all make mistakes. Feelings of guilt and shame often settle in the sacral chakra and can weigh us down, stopping us from living a full life. If you find yourself judging others on their life choices, you may be projecting your own guilt onto them. Going through life thinking you need to be punished or denying yourself the sweet things in life is rejecting the abundance available to us here on this earth. Innocence helps us to remember that we are all divine spiritual beings have a, having a physical experience here on earth. We are meant to be here. No one is ever sent here by mistake. And yes, even serial killers. I know that sounds crazy, right? Because it's just like, why? But because... Everything teaches us something. Every single experience that we have teaches us something. Every single experience. You know, I had an experience with my partner earlier about something. Also, I just saw a white feather, so the angels say hello. <laughs> First the fairies, now the angels. Hey, you guys, what's up? Because um, they're all here. They're like rocking it out, like hanging out. I hope you guys feel them. Um, but we had this situation that, you know, I was like, I needed to be heard. And I was like, listen... This is how I feel about it. And you may not understand it, but I need to be heard because this is my expression of myself. Please don't dismiss me. And, you know, I wanted to fall into these fight patterns or go into, instead I was just like, no, I'm not going to, you know, ruin our day kind of thing. I'm like, it's not about that. I was like, this is like, hey, nothing's perfect and even if you're having the most beautiful magical day and you're on a mountain or you're at the ocean or wherever you are it doesn't matter if you you know if something happens and you're upset you know that innocence there's something inside of there that's saying hey I want to be heard and maybe as a child you weren't heard and I have been expressing that I, I'm realizing lately that I was told to shut up and be quiet so much I was told I was, you know, needy and wanty and certain things. And now I look back on it and I'm like, I just didn't understand. You know, no one would explain things to me. They thought I couldn't handle it. You know, they just dismissed me, especially because I was the youngest. So it's like, oh, well, if all of these other children before you, um, you know, didn't understand it, you probably won't understand it either. You know, if all these other four year olds, but I did understand things. I did see things differently, you know? Um, so I think now there's a lot of us, there's, like I've said before, there's just a lot of adults walk or children walking around in adult suits because there's so much pain and there's so much suffering that hasn't been addressed. And when it's not addressed, it festers. And so it's time for us, for me, that's what I feel like this innocence is too, is it's time for us to like really, you know, kind of come into, sorry, I need to, sorry, not sorry. I need to sit forward. 
also, I love you, Pat, but she's a little stinky. She's really old, and um, this woman had some incredible, incredible things. So, um, you know, I don't know how long she's had it, but it's like, it's one of those that I literally, I'm like, I don't even know if it's going to go in the house. I may have to, we'll have to see. <laughs> we'll have to see. I may, I may not. Um, but anyway, so I want to get to, they talk about the seven daisies ritual. So it says, this is a powerful ritual to release feelings of guilt. It says, take an A4 size piece of white cloth, seven fresh daisies, and a small clear quartz crystal. Place the daisies and quartz onto the cloth. Fold it over and sew up the edges of the material. This action will trap your feelings of guilt and low self-esteem so that they may be taken away by the daisy's pure innocent energy. The clear quartz crystal will clear up any residual negative feelings. Bury this package in your garden and feel any unhappy emotions drain into the earth. And when you do that, make sure you thank it. Because even if it's it's unpleasant, it's when we thank that energy and we give it gratitude that it can go back into its original form. Because everything starts with love and it goes back into the earth and it is repurposed with love. And in the universe, it's the same way. So when you're thinking of that, think of it with gratitude. Okay, so here, and also I'm hearing for some of you that want this. Here you go. You can get a screenshot. Also, I'm hearing from Spirit, you know, you can do this. That's beautiful. It's perfect. I'll never take a spell away from somebody, you know. I love, love, love the Priestess Moon. This is her Enchanted Spell Oracle deck. Um, you guys know I rave about her all the time. Love her. Um, but at the same time, uh, I got from Spirit that it's just as potent and powerful if you hold the crystal and the daisies together as you set the intention. So if you don't like, say you live in an apartment and even so when they tell you to bury something, you can still do it in an apartment or a small house. You can do it in, you know, like a pot with soil. It's the same thing. You know, it's just about, you know, bringing it back into the earth so it can cleanse. And like I just said, and repurpose, um, do we have any more? Was that it spirit? I think that's it. You guys. That's it. So that's our message. Now, what I heard from Spirit is this is what they want us to release on the full moon, okay? So they are saying this is what they want us to focus on and then release. And then we're going to pull one more card for um, the next year, the next galactic year. What message does Spirit, Spirit, what message do you have from the medieval witches um, and from the plant medicine, whatever it is? What's our message? For the Lionsgate portal for the next year for the next coming year it's going to be personal for all of you to manifest what you want but this is just some words of this thing like, some beautiful pearls of wisdom from the Galactic Council thank you spirit got it got it is there any in there okay so we have Okay, okay. Hold on, you guys. Is this the pick a reading? Oh, so this is going to be for a Lionsgate pick a reading. Stay tuned. Oh my gosh, I love when they do shit like that. Okay, so which one is it going to be? I don't know. I don't know. Until next time. I don't know. Obviously, this is going to be posted first, but um, then when I go back in, I usually put the links of them together. So look out. Make sure you subscribe, like, comment, all that fun stuff to keep our momentum going here on the channel. We've been growing in numbers. Welcome to the new members and welcome back to those who keep coming back. Thank you. Um, but yeah, so look out for that. Pick a reading for messages from spirit to you for the next year from the Lionsgate portal. All right. I love you so much. Take good care of yourselves and each other. Until next time, blessed be. Oh.